Welcome back to the lounge where we discuss hoops of all nature. This is Hoops Lounge. I am your host, Ryan Antonio Henry, joined, of course, by co-host Mark Griffin. Daniel Rowell joining us today, and, of course, Eric Fawcett. Well, ladies and gentlemen, last night, big night for DeMar DeRozan. It was... It, and and not even just last night, even the night before when he dropped 40 points to start the season, he just recently signed $139 million for five years. Um, earlier this season, people were debating whether he's even worth it. We had SI rank him number 46 on a <laughs> chart, and he was not too pleased about that. So what does he do to follow up this massive contract? He gets a gold medal with the U.S. team, and again, opening 40-point night, and then last night against the Cavs, just another insane performance. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to get your opinion on DeMar DeRozan. Realistically, what in his game is so different? What's making him so much more effective? Daniel, I'm going to start this one with you. Uh, I think it's it's his kind of pairing with Lowry that makes him so different. I, how how many times do we have a backcourt player that can drive and kick, and he's working next to Kyle Lowry, who is I think probably one of the top three point guards in the East. And I think it's that kind of tandem together that really makes him interesting. Um, and other than that, you know, it's just probably a lot of motivation. This is a team that despite making it to the Eastern Conference Finals, was blown out by 20 points in half the games. So I think he does have a chip on his shoulder. And, I mean, I don't know if that really translates into talent, but it definitely is motivation. And, and, and Mark, just mm-hmm. I, I don't know if it's the aggressiveness. Uh, we did see in the first two games that Kyle Lowry kind of struggled a bit. But he, mm-hmm. DeMar has been taking on that, like, he, he just has this aggression. Can you speak on anything that you've seen different uh, from his game yeah. over the past few years? Yeah, I'll tell you a quick story. Two years ago, I covered the World Cup team in Spain that he was on. And I saw that guy just practicing like, on his own, even after practice, just shooting, shooting, shooting. And the culture they create with Team USA, him being involved with it two years ago and then again this summer, all the guys get a bump going into the season because of just having those guys around them rubbing you know rubbing shoulders with each other and just kind of building that work ethic and just like that one upmanship he's come into the league this year with aggression and uh let me just say positivity and just kind of his self-esteem level has gone up and i just see him he's just kind of uh taking things to a new level i love seeing it Awesome. And and Eric, yeah. after receiving that 46th player ranking, naturally, again, he didn't let it known that he's not pleased about it. Um, where do you rank DeMar in term of elite in the NBA? Are, are, are we possibly putting him in the top 20, maybe even the top 15 players? Uh, to me, he I, I would put him in the conversation for top 15, but he's in my top 20 for sure. And I mean, I can see why he'd be mad when he continually averages over 20 points a game. When he's, you know, in the top 10 of scoring and then like, I, like he doesn't, he doesn't defend at the level that you'd like to see for someone of that athleticism, but I don't think he's as poor of a defender as people say. Um, he distributes the ball well, he rebounds really well for his position, he gets in the passing lane and gets steals. He, he does a lot of things um, in addition to scoring, but his scoring numbers alone put him in the elite. So I absolutely, I use the word elite when I talk about DeMar DeRozan. Oh, for sure. And and last night when I was watching the game, uh, the la- the past two games, um, I just see this aggressiveness attacking the lane. We know he's capable of getting to the bucket, uh, but going up against guys like LeBron James, uh, I think the problem was uh, we never really saw him able to compete with those guys. Now, when I see him attacking the basket, seeing LeBron head up, seeing Tristan Thompson head up, and then just slamming down probably the earliest candidate for dunk of the year that I've ever seen, is it, it, it's phenomenal. And I, 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 I credit it more to aggression than any thing and I feel he should just keep this up but uh, just in, in with DeMar just uh, regarding this uh, does he make an all NBA team this year with uh, with his play and uh, sorry uh, Mark an all NBA um, maybe third team I mean gosh there are so many when I talk about the end there's so many young stars in this league right now and I mean we're not even talking about the centers but just guards like guys like Kawhi coming up it's gonna be really tough maybe a third team but I, I'm not promising that not promising that. all right and and Daniel third third team second team do you see it in his future 
Uh, I feel really bad. I'm I like am a Demar Derozan hater of sorts. Oh. I, mean, I, I think he's he's a good player, but I I think he is. I wouldn't include him in my my top fifteen, and so I don't think he's a third teamer. But you know, if he keeps up these numbers, he could be. Uh, I think he likely will try and be like the best player on uh, on the Raptors this year. But I just. I don't know. <laughs> and, and Eric, just to, to close this out, do you see him? We all know he's probably going to make an all-star team. That's no question. But do you see him making the first, second, or third? Um, yeah, he's in tough. That's a real tough position on the wing to make a, to make an all-NBA team. But if the Raptors are continuing to be you know, the second-best team in the East and um, they're in the conversation for the top spot, and if Lowry's continuing to – maybe not play at the level we think he can, which I think he might stay at that level. And, hey, DeMar DeRozan averaged something like 23.8 points um, last year. If he can bump that up to 25, like, it's the, the raw numbers are really going to make it uh, make it tough to keep him off that list if he's the best player on a really, really good Raptors team. Again, small sample size, but, of course, this is what we got to do. we got to talk hoops, yeah. even if it's the second game of the season. But, again, I'd like to thank you guys for joining us in the conversation about DeMar today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to, you know, give your input, you're a DeMar fan, let us know. Hashtag it, take the court, hashtag hoops lounge, and hashtag press basketball. But, uh, again, guys, appreciate your time here. And, of course, you can always check us out on pressbasketball.com.